Which brings me to the two, I think, most difficult issues that the court has to address, the issue of the adjudication versus a withhold and the issue of whether there should be any incarceration in this case. You know, I will tell you that in most instances, most judges, myself included, when someone is 17 and has no prior um, cri crimes, and, and I'm not discounting the driving record because I think we've discussed that and I've pointed out what I think about that and how disturbing that is, but he has no criminal record per se at all, and he's 17 years old, and this is a third degree felony. And so normally if you look at those things, most judges are going to say that's a case that is a withhold case. And this, and I want to say something else too, I, I think in my mind there is an early acceptance of responsibility in this case. People say, well, it's taken six months. <laughs> I don't know that most people are aware in an important and serious case just how long sometime, maybe they are, how long it takes to, to get a case to go through the criminal justice system. This is my first involvement in this case, having taken it over after it was transferred, and this is the first opportunity in front of me, and, and I think there is an understanding, or I think there is an understanding of what happened, and I think there is an early acceptance of responsibility. In, in criminal court, in federal court, that is something that is specifically recognized in mitigation, the early acceptance of responsibility. In our criminal court, in the state court, it's not. I think it's something that the judge has to look at, and if they think that's something that is to be considered, um, then you can, you can look at that. So I think there is, in my mind at least, <laughs> at least for the normal situation that I deal with, uh, an early acceptance of responsibility. And, and I read that in what he said in his letter to the court in two lines that I'd, I'd like to indicate. I cannot take back the day of August 26th, but I can do my best to make up for it. It's my hope during this sentence and during the rest of your life that you do everything that you can to make up for this. I understand the consequences of what I have done and I'm willing to face them, for it is nothing compared to the situation John is in. I agree with that 100%. There's nothing the court can impose, there's nothing the court is going to impose that is is anywhere close to what John is dealing with, has dealt with, and will have to deal with uh, as he moves forward. I understand the seriousness of the injuries involved in the case. I've talked about the reasons that would suggest a withhold. I understand the reasons on the other end that there are serious injuries in this case, devastatingly serious injuries that we have talked about. The prior speeding tickets, and as I characterized it, a cavalier driving history in the past and the fact that the civil lawsuit is pending as well. It's a balancing. I mean, there is no perfect answer, but on, on, under these circumstances, the court believes that it would be appropriate to withhold adjudication in this case. On the other issue, the issue of incarceration, I, I <laughs> cannot be quite as understanding in this situation. You know, it's one thing to say I'm sorry, it's even one thing to mean it, and I do believe that he's sincere. And I have a lot of people standing in front of me on a lot of days that say they're sorry. And I think, hopefully, I've developed some level of expertise in actually being able to tell whether they're sincere or not. And I believe that he is, I believe his family is. Um, and I believe that, that there is a, a sincere apology and a sincere desire to change things. But <laughs> saying you understand and saying that things will be different it's not the same as actually understanding that there are consequences for what you do in these circumstances. And he has to understand, even if for the, <laughs> Mr. Graziano is going to be imprisoned in what he's dealing with for some period of time. The, as was pointed out by his family, the time that Nick may spend <laughs> incarcerated um, is, is going to pass, and it's going to be gone. And years from now, it'll be a, a forgotten memory. but. I'm not sure that John is going to be in the same position or have the same opportunity as far as that's concerned. But for him to understand there are consequences, for everyone else out there that ever 18, 20 years old is thinking of doing this kind of thing, the system has to say that when you, you engage in this kind of behavior and there are the kind of consequences that there are in this case, that something is, is going to have to be done to show people to say this is not acceptable, that we need to do something else, that we need to think before we engage in these kinds of actions that wind up having these kinds of consequences. And, and that's the reason why I believe that there has to be some incarceration in this case. This sentence is designed to punish and to hopefully give him the opportunity to move on with his life. 
And I recognize, as does he, that the consequences of what he has done is nothing compared to the situation that John is in. 